Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I thought I'd show you how to install Docker. And so the first thing you're going to do is go to the Docker um, website and uh, right on the front page there should be a download link for uh, Docker for Windows Desktop. Uh, so we're going to download that file and once it's downloaded we're going to run it and the name of the file will be something like Docker Desktop Install. So I'm going to run this. I'm going to, I'm going to add, go ahead and add the shortcut to the desktop and click OK. And it will uh, run the Docker install. OK, once it succeeds, uh, we can close the installation program. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, run Docker. Uh, we're going to uh, accept the uh, agreement here. And it's starting up Docker. Now by default, it's it's the free version of Docker when you install it. Uh, you can upgrade the plan, but probably for most people, the free plan will, will uh, do what they need. Uh, the paid plans are more for uh, businesses, and even the smaller plan uh, is designed so that a small business can use it. You can go to the... Uh, Docker website for further information on pricing. So it comes up and it says get started with Docker and a few easy steps. We're going to skip the tutorial here and move on. So you can go through the tutorial if you want, uh, but otherwise what you want to do is you want to take this right here and uh, copy that. Now if we go to containers, well we're on the containers right now, there's nothing in here right now. So uh, Good thing to uh, test it and just to kind of start out with is to run this and what we need to do is bring up a command prompt. And so we're going to paste that command in the com command prompt and run it. And it will actually download a package and uh, configure it. And if we go back here to uh, Docker, you can see that we have uh, the Docker getting started um, website running within Docker. And the way that we know that this is uh, working is we can actually go here and we can go to localhost and hit enter and it will bring up this web page. So now we have Docker installed and we know it's working. Uh, so then you can uh, go from there. I'm Dean and this is Bendino's Tech World and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.